So Dave reached out and requested I make a video about showing how to cut tap strip with a hammer. Now I know he didn't mean use that beautiful hatchet hammer right there, but I was thinking to myself, self, you know, we've done some videos on cutting tap strip with just a hammer. How about we up the ante a little bit? And then I got John that's always pushing me just to be more crazy and more creative in all my videos. So rather than just showing how to cut tack strip like this with a nice hammer like that, cost $30. By the way, there is a shortage of hammers in the store right now. Everybody buying up ratchets, if you know what I'm saying, and hammers right now. Don't know what's going on, but yeah, if you need a hammer, you better go buy one today. Anyway, back to this video here. Why do that when I could show you how to install carpet with only two tools? Whole room of carpet, only two tools. That's all you need to succeed. Oh, and by the way, Hey, if Paul or Sean stumbles upon this video, just go ahead and hit that skip button right now. You don't need to know what I'm doing on your job sites when you're not around. So let's dive into this right here. So since I was masterminding this, we're going to go ahead and finish this tech strip around the room. And once we get this, we're going to go ahead and create two tools that any installer can use but shouldn't use to install carpet in any room. All that fancy nonsense everybody's trying to pitch you on, you don't need any of that. You need a kicker and this magic tool that I'm gonna MacGyver together and show you how it will be your go-to for all your installation choices from here on out. You also have to be very careful with this tool. You could easily lob an arm off using it. So let's go ahead and just leave that to the hacks like me. But for all you others out there, just be a spectator and enjoy what's about to go down in this video here. We're gonna remove that little chunk of pad, fill in that last little spot, and it is show time. All right, so check this out. I said two tools, right? I'm allowed to make two tools any which way I want. So we got the hammer, horrible video shot there, shame on me. And we're taping a knife to the other end of it. Duct tape, baby, you know what I'm saying? Two into one. So now we have a hammer, we have a hatchet, we have a stair tool, we have a blade, and we have a hook knife all rolled into one. Who needs all that nonsense when you could have this bad mamba jamba right here? And if anybody looks at you sideways, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna continue walking down the street after they see this in your hand. Biggity bam. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put that blade up there for safekeeping. Let's get down to business here. So we got our carpet. We're gonna go ahead and get this laid out. And if you don't know how to unroll carpet in a room without destroying the walls, you just go ahead and start at an angle, get it all loosey goosey, you know what I'm saying? Fold it backwards. See, so flap it out, float it down. Then we're gonna fold all the sides and let's speed this up. This is just, whoo, man, I cannot go idle. I gotta go fast or nothing, one speed fast and then beg for forgiveness when you mess everything up now that's all laid out it's showtime baby we're gonna go ahead and use our new hatchet hammer stair tool hook knife stair <laughs> i don't even know multi-tool do hickey thingy and we're gonna start cutting all this in cut everything down into manageable sizes look how easy that is actually i'm gonna be real man i thought for sure i was gonna lob my fingertips off the whole time i was doing this so don't do what i'm doing in this video but we're gonna go ahead and fold it down just like you would any other installation here we're gonna slowly trim everything back watch those fingertips you don't want to make a hospital trip while this is going on and if you do lob your fingertips off duct tape is a fantastic go-to to slow things down while you got to take the drive to the store now got that out of the way Let's flop this out here. We're gonna fold that back. Get it ready to go. Cut this last little bit of excess off for the closet there. All right, we're good there. Now we're gonna get rid of the balance of this wall. That's actually gonna be our fill piece for the closet. Don't ask how we're gonna do the seam. We will get to that in another video. Now we're on our last wall. We gotta cut down here. We're just gonna lob this off with the quickness. Work our way all the way down. Boom, boom. And once again, if you're gonna take on this strategy, you gotta sign that waiver form. I am not getting sued. You know what I'm saying? All right, good, good, good. Life is good. Now, my stair tool. Boom, look at that, just creasing this premium thick carpet right onto the tack strip with that monster stair tool. Things are working for now. That could be a selfie stick on top of it too. Matter of fact, that is a selfie stick too. I just found another purpose for that tool. Now I'm gonna blast down. Look how I shake the whole entire house when I kick. I bring the thunder. Everybody's always talking about, you need a power stretcher, dog. You see that knee? That's power stretcher all in one, baby. Don't need no power stretchers. Just locked all that on. Let me go ahead and get my stair tool selfie stick. Crease that on. All right, we're good there. Crease that last little bit on. Everything's good. Now we're gonna go ahead and get down there to set walls. This is where things are gonna start getting fun for you here. So we got a set wall and the baseboards are actually raised a little bit. So watch this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh my goodness. I just put half of the carpet tool companies out of business right now. Should have offered a sponsorship, guys. Now you're bankrupt. That's okay. I'm taking over everything. I'm going to take my kicker and I'm just going to lock that onto the tech strip now. Tap it all the way down. Boom, boom, boom. 
get up to the other end of the wall and onto the next phase here. We're gonna go ahead and lock this on, and then it is gonna be time to trim all this in, tuck this in, and grab that bag. You know what I'm saying? Crease that on with our hatchet stair tool. Nobody comes up with this creativity. I appreciate y'all pushing me to come up with this stuff. And matter of fact, while we're on the subject of that, an interesting thing I've been hearing for the past few years, and I've seen it, but I realize why this is happening. Everybody says, you know, there ain't no youngsters going into this trade. Don't nobody want to work, blah, blah, blah. And that's true. But look how lame the industry has become. Nobody has involved in the industry. It's just the same old lame thing for the past 20 years. So what if we did more creativity, actually made it more entertaining, more interesting, and added a little technology to it because that's where the world's at right now? There may be an influx of youngsters coming into the game and it wouldn't be all these miserable old dudes saying, well, that's not how I was taught. That's not how you do it. No, man, this should be fun and talk about the money and the opportunity and not the well, you should be sealing seams on every single job. Nobody's going to come into an industry when you make it all lame like that. So this is a message to everybody out there. Maybe make the game a little more fun and there will be an influx of youngsters coming into it and keep the game alive. And it wouldn't be a full on DIY world. But until then, I'm just going to create these videos showing the masses how to do this and have fun in the process. So we're going to go ahead and trim that down right there. Let me get back into this. That was a fantastic rant I had going on right there and you see I'm working my way around we're just gonna trim all this in and then you're gonna see me tuck 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 and then you're gonna say well wait a minute don't you have to transition to a doorway don't you worry about that one bit I'm gonna show you my strategy for that with the hatchet hammer hook knife stair tool knife cutter all in one finish cutting this wall we're gonna swoop over to the other one I think we're down to our last wall and then we're gonna do some serious tucking with this and that is so much fun in this part watch this Slice that down. This is where I was really getting nervous about my fingertips. Just keeping it 100 with you there. It ain't all fun in games all the time. Finish lobbing this off. Almost to the end. Magically, all my scraps are getting picked up at the same time for me too. I love that. Just fun, fun, fun. Finish trimming that down. Last little bit. Stick with me here. There's going to be some surprises in the end. All right, finally got that out of the way. Good, good. Let's go ahead and tuck. Look at, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Crane, Roberts, y'all are in trouble if you don't take action on building some of this out right now. And while we're at it here, if you are watching this still and you want to get your side hustle on, make creative tools like this and do carpet repairs earning $75 to $125 per hour, you probably want to check the links below this video because you can win electric staplers. You can get strategies that are going to get you paid. And most importantly, you could tap into an industry that is full of just lazy individuals that are not fully capitalizing on it. So you could just move in and take right over that Kool-Aid. Remember, Hustle trumps talent any day of the week. You could always outwork your competition. So don't worry about who's in it. Just know that you could always outwork them. We're going to finish tucking in this last little bit right here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Look at that magic. Oh, my goodness. Whew, man. I need to patent that thing right there. I'll tell you what. We're going to tuck in this last wall, and then we need to get down to some transition time with this mega massive tool I got going on right here. Almost down at the very end, tuck to the vent, life is good. Alrighty. Look at this last little bit. Chop, chop, chop. Man, actually I should do a follow-up video chopping it in. Alright. Oh, wait a minute, don't you have a turn tack to do? Don't that take a stateboard to do that? Nah, not at all. Not when you got the multi-tool of all multi-tools. I'm gonna fold that under there. We're gonna go ahead and give us a little tap tap, and then watch how we get down here. Paul, close your eyes if you're watching this. You're not allowed to see this, dude. Boom, 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 boom. All good there. Stretch that up. Boom, 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 boom. Perfect turn in tech with my multi-tool. If y'all want your autograph copy, it's $400. Go ahead and PayPal that to me. I'm going to autograph it for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next.